Hey there, Steve from the TurtleFollower.com here uh, with your stock market outlook for Tuesday, September 2nd. Uh, market was open a little bit today, uh, or as far as the futures go, they did trade for a little bit today. Um, and you can see that we did push over 2,000 in the S&P 500 futures. Um, you know, I don't put too much into that since it was a, a holiday week. So um, I do hope that everybody did enjoy their, their holiday and uh, you know are, are ready to uh, take on the rest of the year um, and follow along with us here at the turtle follower so we're gonna take a quick look if you haven't joined us before we're gonna take a quick look at the S&P 500 the Nasdaq the Dow and the Russell futures uh, just to kind of give a sense of maybe where we might be headed um, if there's any changes in the trend um, you know anything that we need to be aware of again you know if you have been following with us the we do not take positions or exit positions based on market action um, each trade is put on and managed in accordance with its own price action so the real reason we do this is just to give an idea of you know if the, the wind is at our backs per se um, if there's anything that may be changing with the market so as far as the S&P 500 goes uh, we've talked about this over the weekend update and we'll just discuss it again in case you haven't followed with that but last week was essentially a holiday week so very low volume um, you can see here we really were in a range for most of the week this was Monday and this was this Monday so these five days right in here so essentially sideways action the one thing that I do notice and that I do like if you are long um, is if you look at this weekly chart on the top here you can see we've been following along with this yellow trend line here and then we've broken out from this consolidation and now we we put in what I consider to be another consolidation and we are breaking out from that as well so you know as far as going down the line I do see higher prices ahead but I've cautioned this the last few outlooks that we've done I just feel we came too far too fast off that trend line and I'd really like to see some type of you know substantial consolidation here I think we need to just basically move sideways between 2000 and say 1980 um, which would be this high in here uh, let it move sideways for you know another week or so and then and then eventually put in a significant breakout over that 2000 level I think that'll take us um, and sustain us for a good rally through the rest of the year but you know right now at this point I think you know just what's happening here I, I would be very surprised to see the market continue to rally as it has off these lows uh, I do need I do think we need to put in some kind of rest the Nasdaq you know again same same kind of scenario here the difference with this one is if you look at the weekly chart you could see we're pushing against this upper channel line here which has been resistance all through the end of 2012 or I'm sorry 2013 beginning of 2014 um, so we are pushing against that that channel line so you know similar to the S&P I think we've come very far very fast look at where the 50 day w was that we essentially bounced off of and look at where we are now we're almost you know 200 points higher than we were uh, at those lows I think again you know we would be it would be beneficial for long-term traders to see some kind of consolidation in these levels and allow this 50-day moving average to come up and resupport that consolidation you know again I don't think that at this point you know seeing another 100 point rally is uh, is expected I, I would I would believe that we would see a pullback before we'd see a rally higher by by that proportion the Dow is essentially at resistance okay this when we were going over this the strongest was the Nasdaq the S&P and then the Dow um, of the three major ones so this one essentially is at resistance you can see here on the weekly chart that we are pushing against those support level I mean those resistance levels okay right through that little consolidation so now we're coming up off this trend line and we're sitting right here at 1790 
So with the Dow a little different than the than the other two, I think we do need some consolidation to eventually break through the resistance that we're at. Um, the other two, S&P and the NASDAQ, have already pushed through that resistance. The Dow, in my opinion, yes, it is slightly higher than the resistance that it, it has shown back in the beginning of or the middle of July. But I still feel that we are at resistance. We need some consolidation. Again, let that let those you know oversold overbought conditions work off let it kind of stabilize and then let's break out over that 1790 level um 17100 level i think was the actual 17139 is the double top so you know that's where i'm looking at with the dow and the final one the uh russell 2000 is really in consolidation we talked about you know on the weekly chart essentially from the beginning of the year it has been in a range between 1206 and 11 1090 i'm sorry 1090 so between 1206 and 1090 so it's just bounced higher bounced off the tops you know there's supports the resistance right now we're moving towards the resistance again i think we eventually do test that 1200 level but when we do you know again i think we do need to put in some consolidation as opposed to kind of reverting back like we have the past two times um, into a downtrend. It's been uptrend, downtrend. We haven't seen any type of consolidation at those highs. And I think the difference here is we're coming off a little bit of a higher low. I think if we can hit the resistance, the 1200 level, and consolidate within that level for you know two, three weeks, put in a nice base, and then break out higher, that's a good setup to get long some, uh, some Russell. So, you know, again, we, we don't trade the futures, but, you know, we do look at them as if they were stocks. And those are the four that I concentrate on right now that be, because they basically drive the market. Um, they are the market. And all our positions in one way or another do follow suit with what happens in, the, in these four indices. So, um, you know, with that said, looking forward next week, you know, it's st the way I look at it, it's still a holiday week. You know, we were only have four trading days, not much going on. I consider I would still consider this to be a low volume week, not much movement. But then the weeks after, I think that you know a lot has to do with if we can put in some uh, some good consolidation ranges and allow those overbought conditions to kind of work themselves off, allow some of those 50 day moving averages to catch up. And then eventually have a nice breakout over those resistance levels uh, to potentially new highs and all-time highs um, in most of these indices. I think from now to the end of the year, I do think that we're set up very well uh, to rally into the end of the year. Not saying that there's not going to be a pullback or anything like that, but I do feel that you know the path of least resistance is higher, and that's how we've positioned the portfolio. So uh, you know, I think. Um, I think that gives us a good basis of where to go. I don't expect much to happen this week. But, you know, again, we'll see what happens. These are all predictions. We do work off of price action. And when we do this again next week, we'll have five more days or four more days of, uh, of price action to analyze and see if we're, uh, you know, what we're looking for is coming true. But with that said, have a great rest of the day. Catch us tonight for the strategy session. Um, and please make sure you follow me on Stock Twitch, Twitter, Google Plus, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can also subscribe to the nightly recap uh, where I send out the video links for all these videos and the strategy session and weekend updates directly to your inbox. So if you're not social media savvy, you can definitely get those delivered at your convenience. Um, so thanks for watching, and we will see you later.